That was the Salty Family with Be Bold, Be Strong. Well, I, I love coming to the radio station, and on my way, I always am in an attitude of prayer. And today, I was thinking, Lord, who would I like to, you know, have of a role model and a hero today? And the Lord told me, he says, you're to talk about Joshua. So I was looking on the internet, and I said, what are the characteristics of Joshua? And the first one that I came across was faithfulness. I mean, he was faithful to the guidance and to the Word of God. You know, the Lord told him in Joshua chapter 1, he says, what you need to do is, of course, listen to the Word of God, and also as well, allow the Word of God to guide your life. Now, Joshua was an incredible man of God. You know, I was thinking about the fact that when he was a young man, for example, he spent most of his time outside the, wor I should say, the tent, or in the tent as well. We're talking about the tabernacle in the wilderness. What Joshua wanted to make sure that he was in the presence of the Lord. He wanted to make sure that he had a close relationship with God. And that's an incredible thing to do. And you and I today can have that when we spend time alone with God. I really firmly believe that we need to have daily times with the Lord. That's where we pray, and that's where we read God's Word. You know, Joshua didn't have what we have. We have the contained Word of God from Genesis to Revelation. So, he had to rely on the experience. But you and I, we have the fuller revelation. We not only have the Word of God, but also as well, what we have is this wonderful vehicle of prayer, where every single day, you and I can spend time with the Lord. And I encourage you to do that. So make it a priority today to be faithful to the Lord's guidance, and also as well, to the Word of God. Remember, the Word of God is a compass for your life, an instruction manual, and also a guidebook that will enable you to navigate the world in which we live in. There's a lot of you know, misinformation and uh, fake news out there, but there is one thing that's not fake and not misinformation. It's the Word of God, and it's God's love letter for you, and it's the final authority of faith and practice. And so be like Joshua today and make the Word of God and a, a priority for that daily time with the Lord. A little thought for you today on your friends from AM 930 The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Hi, this is Dr.